the MMA and Sports Extreme Show. Big damn Mark Liotta. What's up, bro? Nothing, bro. How are you? I'll tell you what, man. There's some good fights in there. Yeah, man. Looking good. Bellator did a good job tonight. Well, you went from one fight to the next. One fight was nonstop action. It went with a, ended with 120 punches to the face. Yeah, man. It was a tough fight. I realized you didn't stop it because they really weren't hard punches. No, nah, there was no damage being done, just points. And he had the arm lock, so I just let it continue. Sent a lot of orange shirts home. Very unhappy tonight. Yeah, but you know what? That kid had heart. He didn't want to quit. I, every time, I warned him twice, better your position. I'm going to stop the fight. He did. He started getting more hits. I said again, better your position. And he did it again, but then he tapped out from the armbar. Uh, a lot of his fans felt that, that he had won the fight in the first round, but I thought the other fighter was still moving pretty. Didn't seem like he was that hurt. He got a couple nice shots, and he, you know, he, what, do you, what do you feel about that? He probably won the first round. I don't know. I didn't judge. It's tough when you're refereeing. You don't really see it as a judge would because you're trying to watch for the low blows, the eye gouges, you know, like the bad strikes. But, I mean, he did, get, he did get a good knockdown, almost a knockout. I mean, I was right on top of it. I was going to stop that fight. But he recovered immediately, and he pulled guard, and he was okay. But he did get a good knockdown. I thought it was a great fight. And then we just had a fight here that the place was booing because there was no action. And all of a sudden, whoppo, knockout. Yeah, I don't know if you saw between the rounds. I pulled the guys in. I said, listen, I'm going to take a point away from both of you. I'm warning you right now on the timidity rule, you got to fight. And uh, they both said they were going to, and obviously they didn't in the second round. It was yeah, it, with Lombardo and said, you know, these guys, they've had a lot of fights between them. And I think they were kind of feeling each other out, but too slow. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a point when it's no longer a feeling out position. You know, I mean, you got five-minute rounds, and after one full round, you can't, you know, you kind of know the distance, you know the feeling of what you're going to do. Yeah, I'm really proud of Bellator. I think coming in the Caesars in a nice uh, ballroom like this, giving it that intimate and just packing the house right there, it's a really good feel. Yeah, plus you guys are right there. I mean, you know, you got the best seats in the house right behind us, and, you know, you get to see the action really up close. Some of the bigger shows, you're a little bit further back. It's, you know, you're almost like a spectator watching on a, a Trinitron. Oh, absolutely. I, just for the fans at home that watch MMA Sports Extreme Show, the reason I'm wearing this hat tonight is if we stood next to each other, same barber. <laughs> so um, now you've, you've been at the top, the Apex. What's your best memory, biggest crowd, most fun time as a referee? You know, I, I, believe it or not, I'm still a fan of the sport. It doesn't matter that we get paid to do this job. You know, I'm still a big fan of the sport. So I like the amateurs coming up. I like the, the pros who are just getting to the top level. You know, every fight's good. I enjoy them all. I mean, I don't care if it's a small amateur show in Pennsylvania or the UFC. I mean, it's just it's a great event. I'm blessed to be there, and I enjoy what I do. Well, that's kind of what we do at the MMA Sports Extreme Show. Is, you know, you've seen us at UFC, Strike Force, Bellator, but we also do Cage Fury Fighting Championships, New Breed. That's great that you guys, you know, you're there to show respect to everybody. You know, you got these up-and-coming fighters. Man, they want the same respect, you know, and they're working. It's like college football. You watch college football and you watch pro football. Some of these college kids are out there. They know they're going to get the big money if they make it. They push their balls off to make it. Well, same with these amateur and lower pro fights. These guys know if they put on a great show, they fight every minute. There's no, ah, I got the title. Let me take it a little bit easy. I don't want to lose my belt. These guys don't have anything yet. They fight their heart out the whole time, and it's great. I love it. Well, it's a great point, and the fact is that in New Jersey with Nick Lambeau and the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, you have referees that have such professionalism, such experience. You see them at pay-per-view UFC. You see them in Bellator Strike Force. You see them at the, you know, the smaller shows that are amateur, and that's, that gives a lot of confidence to the, to the fan watching that, knowing that the person judging those fighters knows what they're doing. Sure, and you know what? It's great when you see a young kid come up. You know, it's only his third or fourth pro fight. And he's like, oh, man, I'm so happy to have you as my referee. You know, it makes you feel good. You know, you just tell the kid, man, do the best you can out there. You know, you're, you're here for a reason. You made it. You know, you got Aaron Davis as our commissioner. He comes to these events. He's ringside. You got Nick Lembo, who's one of the most knowledgeable guys in the sport. I mean, you can't get anybody who knows more about this art than him. Oh, you're absolutely right. Nick, Nick puts a team together. What I also noticed is that not only is your team in, in, uh, around the cage tonight, but I also see the backup guys are in the crowd. So you even have your other officials that are sitting there like as backups. You know what it is? Like I said to you, we love it. We're fans of the sport, you know. You're not going to make money on this sport as a referee or a judge. You're here because you enjoy doing it. You know, it costs you more to drive here with gas now than it does to get paid to do the event. But you still come because it's something you enjoy to do. We may need to edit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, though, unfortunately. <laughs> we got to get him some gas money from Bellator. Hey, Bjorn Rebney, we could use some gas money. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Thank you very much. You're a friend of the MMA Sports Extreme Show. Hey, say something to the friends at home. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Hey, I'm JJ. He's Big Dan. We're out of here. Thanks, sir.